Hello guys, today gonna be another quick review on our new products, the our trim gear. Okay, this gear is for MS um, or MA chassis. By this angle, it looks same, but it is huge different. Okay, as you can see, this two right here, it is original MS and MA um, pink shaft gear. Looks like this. This two on the bottom, it is our. Um, modify and train you can tell it is wrong edges you can see it's wrong okay like this and the one on the left and then compared to the one on the right it is slightly um i would say like a, a 30 percent uh slimmer okay and as you can see the original one it is about like 12 millimeter um, for the diameter and ours the trim one, the modified one, it is about 11.7 millimeter and we trim slightly a little bit like smaller and uh, just a little bit, not too much. And uh, this one right here, and the same, it's about 11.7, 11.689, whatever. It's slightly like, uh, I mean, for the diameter, it's slightly uh, smaller. Um, just a little bit, not too much because, um, oh, this one, it is wrong trim. Like you can see, the edges it's wrong okay it's not it's not like um uh, like sharp edges it's, it's pretty much the wrong edges that's why we trim all the way from the side to the bottom and to the other side so it makes us all around it's wrong so we call it wrong edges okay and it looks let's look at the thickness or the width of the gear it's about uh 2.6 millimeter this is the original one and the one we have on the choice of a sling trim which is it's only um, 2.10 uh, millimeter and this one is the original uh, uh, the thickness but it's round trimmed so this one is the same 2.6 compared to the this one the original one it's almost same thing okay um so the different it is like when you have your especially your um, building your ms system suspension system and you do need the gear getting trimmed. Let me tell you why. Because, okay, let's use this purple chassis as an example. Because suspension system, the, uh, because the, the transmission right here is going to move like this. Okay, move up and down and then sometimes left and right. Um, so give it a little bit of twist sometimes. And especially up and down. So you do need to trim your gear slightly. Like, like diameter, slightly smaller. So it can make it really adapt to the uh the counter gear which is right here and, and also remember if your chassis twists left and right and you also need some little gap right here and to give some free like space so it can it can make it like you know kind of move like better okay so that's why we have two type it depends how you need it and we have the sling one which is trim as sling and then we have an original one with trim um just no trim on the uh, the thickness of the gear but also we trim on the wrong edges it really depends which one you pick and which one fits you can buy both and uh, test out which one fits better and also as you can see it really um pretty much smooth and there's no any force trading sound and uh, and there's no any weird sound i can see let me kind of like slowly remove uh, move it like now same in the front okay okay and um some people actually um trim their own and you can see this is some somebody else trim their own uh the problem was like is most people you trim your own and it have a little bit of like a scrap like this let me give it a better angle so you can see it see that it's a, have a better angle and you can see there's some scrap on it but look at ours um the one we sell on world m4d10.com it's like original okay it's like original there's no any scrap and it's 100 percent clean and the same as this one this one look at it um it's a very nice perfect like a wrong polished trim on the on different angle like this looks like an original compared with somebody uh using their sandpaper or either whatever trim like this okay so it's kind of a little scrap on it so this is the one we sell on our website which is a perfect and a clean and I, I'm pretty sure a lot of people saw um, some tool on website and um, 
or either online they have some special tool using um uh use the you know the blade to cutting the edges the problem with those it is like uh, when they cut it they can't give you a wrong edges like uh, the way we did okay they normally give you like sharp edges like like those kind of like angle uh, like those kind of like you know sharp angle uh, uh cutting so the one we sell it is clean first thing is clean and the second thing we also train a little bit like a smaller i mean the diameter slightly smaller like this and uh, and um, the most important like i mentioned keep mentioned it is like it's really clean like no scrap on it okay like this so we have this if you can adjust your uh, transmission system correctly and um, um let me put everything to show the result and let's put it, uh, the battery on and when i turn on it's a super quiet and smooth okay no force trading sound at all and especially let me turn around okay when i especially i push down like you don't you don't hear nothing was changing no gear like a force trading or either or either some kind of weird sound okay let's try it right here same at the back see that okay and by the way um if you set up your transmission correctly even you use the original and trim the gear it should be make the same thing but the little detail um you never know okay so that's why um um suggest you use those um for the upgrade for better uh, transmission speed and whatever the biting on the gear and the transmission especially mss ms suspension system you better using those kind of trim gear um for sure if you open all the japanese like uh, japan cup champion those cars they for sure they have um these kind of gear with trimmed because that's for uh for the in general for the for the better result for the transmission system uh this modification it is is necessary and but anyway um buy one and you will know um what's the difference i'm gonna go ahead and put our website and the link on the bottom of the description and by the way, if you have any question, you can just go ahead and follow my Instagram. And I'm going to also leave my Instagram on the bottom of the description. And um, if you have any question, just go ahead and, and uh, direct message me or private message me. Doesn't matter. Leave a comment on one of my posts. And, um, and uh, for sure, I'm going to answer. Um, okay. So, okay. So, we see you next time.